Hello and welcome to Shredder's Zoo. Today we're going to take a walk into the Bug House Tunnel and take a fascinating look at the Dung Beetle. Now so far all the creatures we've talked about here at the zoo have been extinct, but that is not the case for the Dung Beetle. There are about 7,000 species of Dung Beetle worldwide and they are found on every continent except Antarctica. It's been a long held belief that Dung Beetles first appeared around 40 million years ago when mammals began to diversify. However, recent research may indicate that dung beetles appeared around the same time as flowering plants, around 70 to 80 million years ago, during the Cretaceous. Although fossils of the beetles themselves are rare, fossilised dung shows evidence of tunnelling associated with dung beetle feeding. The research also indicated that there was a massive extinction of dung beetles alongside the extinction of the dinosaurs, and it is hypothesised that modern dung beetles are descended from species that fed either on the dung of dinosaurs and early mammals, or species already adapted to feeding on Cretaceous mammal dung. Modern dung beetles are incredibly important to the ecosystem. They bury dung in the ground, helping to fertilise it. Without these beetles, we could find ourselves knee-deep in dung. The favoured food for dung beetles is herbivore poop, which is mainly undigested plant matter. The poop of carnivores has little nutritional value for these insects. The species of dung beetle can be very particular about the animal whose poop it eats. When horses and cattle were introduced to the Australia in 1880s, it was found that the native dung beetles weren't adapted to feed from the dung of these animals, and they were more used to marsupial excrement. The cattle dung was taking months or even years to decompose, rendering up to 2,000 square kilometres of grazing land unusable every year. Cattle dung is also a primary breeding ground for several pestilent species of fly and parasitic worm. In the 1960s it was suggested that foreign dung beetles be introduced and these would be beneficial in removing the dung, thus improving the cattle grazing and nutrient recycling and reducing the number of flies and worms. Dung beetles can be put into four categories. The rollers, those beetles who roll dung up into a ball and take it away to bury for use as food source or for the females to lay their eggs into. These are probably the most famous sort of dung beetles. Then there are the, the tunnelers, who bury the dung where they find it. The third group, called the dwellers, do not roll or burrow, they simply live in the manure. The final group, a bunch of lazy beetles, will steal dung balls from the rollers and are known as stealers. Dung beetles are incredibly good at finding poop. If the animal droppings dry out, it becomes unedible for the beetles, so they have to be quick. One scientist observed 4,000 dung beetles on a fresh pile of elephant scat within 15 minutes after it hit the ground, and shortly thereafter they were joined by an additional 12,000 dung beetles. Competition is fierce, and the dung beetle needs to be strong to fight off rivals and to push large balls of dung around. One beetle was observed to push a load equivalent to 1,141 times its own body weight. This is equivalent to a human pulling six double-decker buses full of people. Dung beetles roll the balls of poop in a straight line. The beetles will climb on top of the ball and dance. This orientates the beetles, and off it continues. The beetles use the sun to navigate, but amazingly they can also use the stars of the Milky Way to navigate at night. This makes them the only known animal other than humans who can use the stars to navigate. Dung beetles are truly amazing creatures we couldn't do without, something the ancient Egyptians appreciated thousands of years ago, as the dung or the scarab beetles had a sacred status and symbolised renewal and resurrection. Well that concludes today's talk, and as always I hope you found it interesting and that you've learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and come back next time for some more fascinating talks at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.